The intricate connection between our diet and brain health is a fascinating journey that we must embark upon before delving into the specifics of the worst foods for our brains. Our brain, often referred to as the command center of our bodies, is a voracious consumer of energy. What we eat has a direct and profound impact on its function. Imagine your brain as the engine of a high-performance car. Just like a sports car requires premium fuel to perform optimally, our brain thrives on a diet rich in nutrients. These nutrients include vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and essential fatty acids. When we provide our brain with the right fuel, we enhance its cognitive function, memory, and overall well-being. Conversely, a poor diet can be likened to filling that sports car with subpar fuel. The consequences are tangible. Cognitive function may decline, memory can suffer, and our overall mental clarity and sharpness can be compromised. It's essential to recognize that our dietary choices can influence not only our physical health, but also our mental health. In this journey, we'll explore the foods that can harm our brain's well-being and understand how to make informed choices for a healthier and more vibrant life. Let's start with a sweet offender, sugary treats. Foods high in added sugars can lead to a host of brain-related issues, including cognitive decline and mood swings. They can also increase the risk of conditions like diabetes, which is closely linked to cognitive impairments. Cutting back on sugary snacks and drinks is a smart move for your brain's long-term health. When we consume sugary treats, our blood sugar levels spike rapidly, leading to a quick energy boost followed by a crash. This roller coaster ride in blood sugar levels can impair our ability to concentrate and focus. Moreover, excessive sugar intake has been linked to chronic inflammation, which is detrimental to brain health. To make matters worse, high sugar consumption can promote insulin resistance, a condition where our cells become less responsive to insulin. This not only increases the risk of diabetes, but also affects the brain. Insulin plays a crucial role in brain function, including memory and learning. When insulin resistance occurs, it can impair these cognitive processes. So, what can you do to reduce your sugar intake? It's essential to read food labels carefully, as added sugars can hide in many processed foods. Opt for natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup when sweetening your meals. And remember, moderation is key when it comes to sugary treats. Next up, trans fats. These artificial fats are often found in processed foods, deep-fried items, and margarine. Research has shown that trans fats can harm the brain by promoting inflammation and reducing blood flow. Opting for healthier fats, like those found in avocados and nuts, can safeguard your brain. Trans fats are a double-edged sword when it comes to brain health. Not only do they contribute to inflammation, but they also disrupt the structure of our cell membranes. Our brain cells rely on the integrity of these membranes to communicate effectively. When trans fats infiltrate these membranes, it can lead to miscommunication between brain cells, impairing cognitive function. Moreover, trans fats have been associated with an increased risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. These conditions are characterized by the accumulation of abnormal proteins in the brain. Research suggests that trans fats may promote the production of these proteins, contributing to cognitive decline. To protect your brain, Check food labels for partially hydrogenated oils, which indicate the presence of trans fats. Opt for cooking oils with healthier fats like olive oil and consider a Mediterranean-style diet rich in brain-boosting nutrients. Processed and fast food Processed and fast foods are convenient, but they're detrimental to your brain health. They're often loaded with unhealthy fats, excessive salt, and artificial additives. These can lead to obesity, high blood pressure, and cognitive impairments. Prioritizing home-cooked meals and whole foods is a step towards better brain health. Let's break down why processed and fast foods are harmful to the brain. First, they often contain an overabundance of unhealthy fats, particularly saturated fats. These fats can increase the levels of bad LDL cholesterol in the blood, leading to arterial plaque buildup. When arteries supplying the brain get clogged, it reduces blood flow and oxygen delivery to brain cells, potentially causing cognitive decline. Furthermore, processed foods are notorious for their high sodium content. Excessive salt intake can lead to hypertension, commonly known as high blood pressure. Hypertension is a significant risk factor for stroke, 
a condition that can damage brain tissue and lead to cognitive impairments. Artificial additives in processed foods, such as preservatives and artificial flavorings, may also have a negative impact on brain health. Some studies suggest a potential link between certain food additives and behavioral issues in children, although more research is needed in this area. To protect your brain, aim to cook fresh, whole meals at home whenever possible. This way, you have control over the ingredients you use and can prioritize brain-boosting nutrients. High sodium foods. Sodium, in moderation, is essential for our bodies, but excessive salt intake can harm the brain. High sodium diets are linked to hypertension, which can reduce blood flow to the brain, impairing cognitive function. Reducing salt intake and opting for natural low sodium seasonings is wise. Sodium is a critical electrolyte that helps maintain fluid balance in our bodies. However, when we consume too much salt, it can lead to water retention and increased blood pressure. High blood pressure is a major risk factor for strokes, which can cause severe damage to brain tissue. Additionally, excessive sodium intake may lead to silent or asymptomatic brain damage. Over time, high blood pressure can cause small blood vessels in the brain to weaken or rupture, potentially leading to tiny, unnoticed brain injuries. These cumulative injuries can add up and contribute to cognitive decline over the years. One effective way to reduce sodium intake is to cook more meals at home using fresh ingredients. Avoiding heavily processed foods and restaurant dishes, which tend to be high in salt, can also help keep your brain in good shape. When seasoning your food, consider using herbs and spices for flavor instead of salt. Alcohol. Let's talk about alcohol. While moderate alcohol consumption may have some health benefits, excessive drinking can wreak havoc on the brain. It can lead to memory issues, mood swings, and even brain shrinkage. If you choose to drink, do so in moderation. Alcohol has a complex relationship with the brain. In small amounts, it may have a neuroprotective effect and improve cardiovascular health, which indirectly benefits the brain. However, excessive alcohol consumption can lead to numerous brain-related problems. One of the most well-known effects of heavy drinking is memory impairment. Alcohol can disrupt the formation of new memories and interfere with cognitive processes. Over time, chronic alcohol abuse can lead to a condition known as alcohol-related brain damage, or ARBD, characterized by significant cognitive decline. Excessive alcohol consumption can also lead to brain shrinkage. Long-term alcohol abuse can result in the loss of brain tissue, particularly in regions associated with memory and decision-making. This can further impair cognitive function and affect overall brain health. If you choose to consume alcohol, it's essential to do so in moderation. The definition of moderation varies, but generally, it means up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. Remember that individual tolerance and health factors play a role, so it's best to consult with a healthcare professional to determine what's appropriate for you. Artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are marketed as a healthier alternative to sugar, but they may not be kind to your brain. Studies suggest that these sweeteners can disrupt the brain's reward system, leading to cravings for more sugary foods. Opting for natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup may be a better choice. Artificial sweeteners, such as aspartame and sucralose, are commonly used to sweeten foods and beverages without adding calories. While they may help with weight management, their impact on the brain is a topic of ongoing research. Some studies have indicated that artificial sweeteners might affect the brain's reward pathways. When we consume artificial sweeteners, our brain may anticipate the calories that should accompany sweetness. However, since artificial sweeteners are calorie-free, this disconnect between sweetness and calories can lead to increased cravings for sugary foods. Furthermore, artificial sweeteners have been associated with changes in gut microbiota, which play a role in brain health. Imbalances in gut bacteria have been linked to conditions like depression and anxiety, highlighting the potential indirect impact of artificial sweeteners on brain function. To protect your brain, consider using natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup in moderation. If you must use artificial sweeteners, do so sparingly and be mindful of any potential cravings they may trigger. High mercury fish. Lastly, High mercury fish like shark and swordfish can be problematic for your brain. 
Mercury is a neurotoxin that can accumulate in the body, leading to cognitive impairments. Choosing fish low in mercury, such as salmon and sardines, is a safer option. Mercury is a heavy metal that can have detrimental effects on the nervous system, including the brain. High mercury levels in the body have been associated with cognitive impairments, memory problems, and difficulties in concentration. This is particularly concerning for pregnant women and children, as mercury exposure during development can lead to lasting cognitive deficits. Certain types of fish, especially those high in the food chain like shark, swordfish, and king mackerel, tend to accumulate more mercury. To protect your brain and overall health, it's wise to choose fish that are lower in mercury content, such as salmon, sardines, and trout. These options are not only safer, but also rich in brain-boosting omega-3 fatty acids. In conclusion, being mindful of what you eat is crucial for maintaining optimal brain health. Avoiding these seven worst foods for the brain and incorporating brain-boosting foods into your diet can go a long way in preserving your cognitive function as you age. Thank you for joining me in this in-depth exploration of brain health and nutrition. Be healthy, be well.